Hello, YouTube. What are we doing today? What's going on, everybody? Hello and welcome back to Dragon's Dogma 2. The most fun I've had in a while. <clears throat> oh, check it out. Melissa S., you are on a roll today, Melissa. Yeah, first in the chat for two different streams. Hi, welcome in. And Jeremy McGee, second runner-up. You almost made it, man. Webster Ross, what's up, Ross? How you doing, bud? Ryan Ossip is with us. What's up, my brother? Hi. And Miss Catherine Jones. Hey, Cat, how are you? Cat the Great is here. Hi. Uh, yeah, I caught your. Uh, I saw your comment on the uh, the video the other day uh, that you're enjoying this playthrough as well. Um, <clears throat> I'm glad that folks are enjoying this game so much because I just, I'm loving it really. I really haven't had this much fun with a game in a long time. I mean, uh, we played Lies of P recently, uh, and that was a new experience for me. That was my first ever Souls like game. Uh, and that's one that I, I was able to go into it with a with a sense of adventure, you know, and really had a good time with it. I'm so glad I played that game. But this one, man, I've been I've been waiting for this for a long time, and I'm glad we, glad it's finally here. Glad we're finally getting to play it, and I'm really I'm glad that I'm getting to share it with you guys because like the original Dragon's Dogma, man, I hadn't even thought about starting a YouTube channel uh, back when I was playing the original Dragon's Dogma, so now to move on and be playing the sequel to it uh with you guys and for you guys it, it's fucking incredible uh i can't even describe it really um yeah actually ross they are allegedly working on a days gone movie man <laughs> melissa you're not even driving or stopped at a light this time nice yeah uh that, allegedly news about days gone too i doubt it uh marcus horton what's up man welcome in welcome in buddy been MIA for a bit. Well, we're glad you're here now. Uh, we'll take what we can get. <laughs> All right, dude, let's play some video games. Um, let's see. I've actually, <clears throat> oh, I just saw the camera glitch a bit. I wonder, if, did you guys see that? It's like the, uh, like my personal camera dropped a frame or something. That was weird. Uh, anyway, uh, I was going to say I've pushed forward in the story a little ways. Uh, we've made it into this, um, uh, next big town here well i guess if you guys caught the last episode you've seen this we made it into the big city here and uh i think we got murdered by a golem uh oh, yeah we, we got smashed by a golem is he still there we go where we are yeah so i was trying to kill this dude and the thing about these guys is like you can only harm them by hitting their little glowy magic spots there that is the only way to deal damage to them and uh it's it can be tricky because you can destroy those damage blocks there those little nodes uh, hang on i need to switch the tv over but yeah you can destroy those individually and then you can no longer deal damage to them by hitting them in that spot you have to change positions and hit them in a different uh, one of their different damage points one of their weak spots oh marcus you just got this game today oh, right on man oh it's fucking great dude uh if you if you really enjoy like action adventure role-playing type games if you're into like the medieval sword and sorcery and uh you know knights and armor and dragons and stuff you know if you're into that kind of stuff you're gonna love the shit out of it uh especially like let's say you had fun with skyrim you're gonna have a blast with this game it's really good uh don't believe don't believe the lies don't believe any of the bullshit you've been hearing yes it has its problems uh my only problem that i've had with it so far is some performance issues i see some pretty significant frame rate drops but even that only lasts like it's just really brief and then it's caught up and everything's good uh, aside from that i have zero complaints man zero actual complaints with performance or the gameplay itself I, zero complaints man just that one thing of dropping frames every now and then and that will very likely be fixed in patches in the near future <clears throat> excuse me uh let's see let me catch up with the chat and then we'll actually get moving oh yeah marcus that new baby been keeping you busy i bet man good lord oh hey check it out jay stabby is with us jay stabby's in the house hello ma'am welcome in um mm, 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 mm. yeah ross they're they're not working on days gone though man they're they're working on a totally different ip they, they've announced several times that that they are working on a new game but it's a whole new intellectual property that's not connected to any other existing game on uh, they are, they're looking for somebody who has experience with making uh live action games for that new ip 
Uh, let's see. Um, why do I only use the bow? Um, two reasons. Uh, one, I generally play an archer. Uh, in like old school like role playing games like this, I, I like playing as a ranged character or an archer uh, specifically. Uh, and I, <laughs> I don't know much about the other play styles in this game. I mean, I know you can do like wizard and uh, fighter and stuff like that, and then there's some other like specialty stuff, but. I'm just kind of sticking to what I know. Um, let's see. And actually, Cat, no, I haven't seen a comment about the pawn disease. Not that I recall. Uh, okay, I have not seen that comment yet. I just saw the one where you were saying that you were really enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it I did in the very last episode. We, it, it was weird. Okay, they, we did like a cut scene where they showed that someone else was able to control the pawns. Uh, and then immediately after that cutscene and stuff ended, uh, everybody died. And I, I've i been told that if you watch your pawns, you'll see their eyes glowing red. You'll see them acting weird, not obeying your commands, holding their head and stuff. Never, never saw any of that. There was never any of that. I've been looking for it. There was never any of that. We went from a cutscene to everybody's dead. I, I don't get it. Anyway. Uh, 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 Nylon Girl is here, and the Who Fan won. Welcome, welcome in. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, right on, Marcus. Yeah, you bet, brother. You bet. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's actually get in and do some stuff. I'm gonna try to kill this thing this time. I think what happened was, oh, hello. I didn't know they could do that. Uh, but yeah, I think what was happened is there's actually a second one nearby, and the second one came in and killed us. It's on the inside of his arm. Yeah, you can't get that one unless you get the inside of his arm. I'll stay away from that shit. Yeah, there we go. Damage on that fool. Oh, good. We've got him frozen for a second. Nice. Bullseye. Oh, that's not dealing any damage to him. Oh, we've broken it. Shit. I'm going to have to change positions now. This is where it gets difficult, because... Oh, shit. No, no, no. Get to cover. <laughs> I'm not trying to get obliterated this time, man. I shot left on. See, I do want to experiment with some of the other playable classes. A moment of I'm just kind of sticking to what I know for now. Not very well, though. I'm hearing... Oh, sh and there's a griffin. Oh, my God. Time to go. Yeah, I'm not fighting a goddamn golem and a griffin. <laughs> Motherfunk that. Maybe the griffin will kill the golem for me. Will they fight each other? They're actually fighting each other. Holy donkey balls, dude. I've never seen that happen. Wild. I've, I've never seen this happen in this game. I've never seen anything quite like this. I've seen enemies fight each other. The magic you bestowed has faded. Here. Whoa. Lightning on your side. This is kind of epic, guys. Uh -uh. No, you rat. Dude, I wasn't even fighting you. You rat fuck. I wasn't even fighting that dude. I was like, hey, y'all can have that shit. I ain't in this. Damn, dude, really? This tale has ended. Does any anyone else who's played this game, do you save your wake stones? Your your wake shards, whatever? It's like I'm like, why would I use that? It just reload from a previous save? But anyway. Oh, let's see. Oh, <laughs> uh, Dandy Denny is here. Hello and welcome. Stuck lurking. Okay, well, thank you for being here all the same. He wishes to gaze upon a griffin firsthand. Tis a tall ask, but not impossible. Shall we go where we have been? Now, see, this looks like a dead golem here. Follow me, master. I shall guide you to the location. Crazy. Vanguard is yours. Maybe we can fight 
this time without having to also engage a friggin griffin i actually don't even know where the griffin came from man he was just like hey i think i'm gonna bust in and ruin your day man this will be my third attempt on this damn dollop i grant you lightning's fangs that counted uh-uh no sir i see you spinning that shit up i'm gone <laughs> i hear wolves over there too we're probably gonna end up having to kill wolves here in a minute uh-uh bye I'm pretty sure one of his weak points is like on the bottom of his feet. On one of his feet. Kind of frustrating. Yeah, there it was right there on the bottom of his foot, man. Give me a target. Good, done, stunned for a minute. Hey, why is that not hurting him? Have we already destroyed that one? Ah, shit. No, it's got to be on the bottom of his foot. Okay. Splendid. Mm -mm. Bye. <laughs> Trying to get to cover every time I see him fire that up. Oh, crap. Hey, Marcus. Thanks, man. Right on, brother. I see that there. Thanks. Is that like to, to make me feel better about dying a second ago? <laughs> Ooh, he seems upset. Oh, and he has crushed my tank. Okay, that's not great. Not ideal. I should be oh good job check it out my one of my other helpers has uh pulled my fighter out of there yeah good job good job okay now drop him so i can heal him i get him revived here can we do it oh i had a friggin wolf attack me <laughs> all creatures who know death cling to life let them run we need not waste that strength See if I can deal with this wolf real quick. Get him off of us. There we go. Okay. Wolf's dealt with. Don't jump on me, dude. Yeah, I need a spot where I can get to cover. Oh, shysa. Time to go. <laughs> That's not cover. It's just a tree. Running for my life now. hear another wolf my days gone instincts are strong <laughs> well, I see he like rages when he's at low health or something I any of those hit a little bit of damage on him there Trying to get that one on the inside of his arm. Now we have this one on the outside of the left arm. There's that. Uh, yeah, we've already done that, dude, like twice. There's another target. Right there. I... Would you be still, fucker? Oh, wait. Let's get his feet. He's ticklish on his feet. <laughs> He's ticklish on his feet. That's adorable. I think I'm about to kill my first golem. Am I about to kill my first golem? Oh, I hope I'm about to kill my first golem because he's kind of pissing me off. It's going to be on the inside of... 
Okay, yeah, he's only got two weak points left on the inside of his arm and on the bottom of his feet, man. It's not ideal. Not ideal. I don't know how to get an angle on him. He appears to be immune to their lightning. Can we get it? I know I'm... Oh, we've crushed that target. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what to do now, man. I, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get to the bottom of his friggin' feet. Can we shoot him in the face? Does that count? No, headshots don't count. Got him. Hi. Okay, let me say goodnight to the kiddo. All right, I got to pause this. Hi, Bubba. You get some snacks for being good? All right. And my mommy got cupcakes. All right. Well, good job, Mommy. Yeah. <laughs> good job, Bubba. I love you, buddy. I moved her up. Oh, yeah? I moved two of us up, and one of them, and Dusty and Daddy and Rex, I want you all to do a good job. All right. I always try. Hey, you can do the best good job, then I'll move you up to P. Fair enough. That's how it works. Good night, Bubba. Good night. <laughs> Claire's looking at me like I'm in trouble later. Oh, my. No, I'm not. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Let me catch up with the chat real quick. Um... Oh, okay, Marcus. Yeah, uh, you're going to bounce so you don't get any spoilers. All right, fair enough, man. All right, see you later. Uh, and Mr. Johnson, 487. Yeah, wolves, so it's it's not just a he's gone paranoia. Nope. <laughs> yeah, my senses are honed, though. I, I know when there's a wolf nearby. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for popping in, man. Uh, let's see. And uh, Phoenix is here. Good evening, Phoenix. Hello, hello, and welcome. Yeah. All right. Oh, man, that's great. Okay. Let's see. So I found out I've been a good boy. I've been moved up to pink uh, <laughs> for good behavior. What is this? We pulled through in the end. Ah. Come to think so if it drops off of the I critter the here. here while All right. Well, yeah, y'all just, you just witnessed my first it? kill on a uh, golem. And now these harpy things are over here killing my friends. Shall we make them brew their own impatience? We fight to arms. Easily done. <laughs> I love kicking them while they're down. Oh, now we got skeletons because it's nighttime. Okay. <laughs> Oh, check it out. He's like glitched out into the ground. Can I shoot him? No, we got him. Are there more? Wow. Oh, all right, yeah, fuck all this, man. I'm going back to town to camp. <laughs> I don't even know why we bothered trying to leave town so close to night. Hey, there's uh, skeletons here. Okay. Since letting the enemy gain the upper hand, the early griffin gets the worm, as they say. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury All of the right. You truly are formidable, Arisen. So I've uh, purchased a home in this town recently, which is handy. Uh, we'll be able to go back and rest and heal everybody up and uh, make it daylight. And I don't actually remember what we were trying to do. I thought we had set out for a mission. Uh, in the last episode, and then got murdered by a golem. Now, where is my home at? Private dwelling. Okay. So, hang a left up here. Yeah, the thing about the uh, 
buying a player home, uh, resting in the hotels or the inns rather is extremely expensive. Uh, so it really is a good idea to have a player home instead. Uh, Cause then uh, player home will pay for itself within just a few times of using it. Plus you have uh, access to your storage as well, which is handy. Oh, I need to use these. Okay, let me check what my helpers are carrying. And one of my helpers has not caught up. They're too far away. Why are they so far away from me? They should be right here. Are you lost or something? All right. Okay, there we go. Sleep. Rest until morning. How I've longed to embrace my bedroll. <laughs> I feel a bunk, or I hear a bunk calling my name. Wait, what are we talking about? Oh, Nylon Girl, I just saw, I just, random con, random comment, no context. My buddy Mike says penis. So there's that. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did I miss? There. I don't know what this is. I can't tell you how I suffered at the hands of golems in that other world. I hope I shan't see another for some time. <laughs> yeah, you suffered at the hands of a golem in my world too, man. Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. Off we go then. Feeling rested, I trust. All right. <laughs> he was insistent that I put it in. Penis? Put it in? I'm sure there's a joke in there somewhere. <laughs> no, actually, uh, we did a live stream way, way back. I think it was when I first started doing Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, it was one of the first streams that I did where I was uh, had everything set up on a PC, where I was playing on PlayStation, but streaming through the computer. Um, so it was one of my first ones set up that way, I think. And I was having problems with Echo. Uh, there was like, it, I felt confident I had set everything up correctly. And, and actually I had, the only thing I had forgotten about was the microphone on the controller. Uh, but anyway, so I was getting an echo from that and I was getting really frustrated with it and we tried shutting it down and starting it back up. We ended the stream, we started a fresh stream and I still had an echo, still had an echo, couldn't seem to fix it. And finally I was like, all right, well, before I turn it off this time, I want to leave everybody with this one thought, penis, 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 penis. <laughs> it's, it's kind of been a running joke for a while now. Is it possible that Mike had seen uh, one of those early streams where, where we did that? <laughs> I've remarked that myself. They revere uh, let's see, I think this is toward the exit. And regard her as family. Vermin's people bear no such love for their queen regent. Though, of course, they have their reasons. Yeah, I'm only mature when I have to be, by God. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Well, it's like I've, I've always said the only real rule that I have for the chat here is uh, you can be immature. You can be a bit of an asshole. Just please don't be an immature asshole because that's different, right? I can deal with immature. I can deal with assholes. Not a big fan of immature assholes. 
Is this actually the way we came in? This is not the way we came in, is it? I'm like lost now. Oh look, there's goblins down there. Let's go murder them. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. Try not to get hit, lest all that fit. Oh, my arrows were falling short. That's lame. And now too high. There we go. That's. What are they even doing? Am I really that scary? They're running away. Smack. <laughs> That's Master, funny. I shall hasten to your aid. Barefi! I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Yeah! And then Toys R Us went out of business. Looks like they eventually had to grow up. What the? Oh, I see. Look, someone's getting eaten by the slime down there. Somebody just got eaten by the slime. Oh, that's wicked. Wow. Okay, anyway. I will protect you. No, my headshots will protect me. Oh, there's that griffin that ruined our golem fight earlier. You bastard. Are we leaving already? <laughs> Bother. <I'm laughs> they got slimed. <laughs> Short round, double O seven. What's up, short round? Kind of don't really feel like fighting a uh, Griffin right now. It's kind of a hassle. Uh, let's see. I feel like I'd probably set up to go do a quest or something. Join Fulvio at the appointed place and assist him in making his sketch. All right, let's do that then. And that's right. It was north of us. Okay. Okay, we do have an objective set. I do like the spread fire attack. It's not super effective, but it has its uses, I suppose. I'll keep them thin down. What a bad idea. Rally! Reinforcements have come to aid. Sounds like we have more on Yeah, I knew it. There were more coming in from the left. Let my we have another one on us? No? Okay. Why are you shooting that way, dude? Damn, there's a bunch of them down there. It's like a little army of goblins. Hobgoblins, whatever. Run up, kick him in the face. Don't scare me. You get him? There we go. We got him. All right. <laughs> they got slimed. Classic. I never thought I'd uh, traveling beyond losing frame rate. I Maybe secrets you have yet to discover. It is nearby. Shall I lead the way? Lead the way. I shall lead us to our destination. So do try not to rush ahead. Well, let's go. Is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. It's up here, okay. Yeah, this is another thing that I really like about this game is the way that your helpers <clears throat> will help you find locations uh, because they've explored with other players. It is a tall ask, but not impossible. The tomb of Amrana. All right. Follow me, master. I shall guide you to the location. But sometimes they won't like shut up about leading you to locations. We cannot break it from this side. Oh, all right, so we'll have to find a way in there. Oh, well, here's a way forward. Stay with me, Arisen. <laughs> Wait a moment. Oh, 
Oh yes, please do heal me. I'm actually quite injured. Shit, the enemies are tough here, man. We may not quite be up to this area. Might need to head back to a like earlier game area. Yeah, didn't expect to get dumped in the bottom of the cave all of a sudden. How does the stream look? Is the quality on the stream okay? We have been having problems at boot that we have been working on. There we go. I just like smashing stuff. Forgive me, but I cannot guide you. From <laughs> this is fucking great. Oh, check it out. If I hadn't been looking, I would have fallen in another fucking hole, man. Wow. All right. Have you forgotten something, Arisen? You're looking rather lost. Now, it looks like this might be the way forward again because there's nowhere else to go. So we're going to have to drop down in this hole here. Whatever it is you need, I shall... John Wagoner. Welcome in, man. Howdy. Present, but I shall be ready to render aid at a moment's notice. All right. Well, we didn't fall on any enemies this time. That's nice. Here, strike with lightning on your side. That's doing no damage. It's interesting, the zombies in this game look kind of like the zombies from Oblivion. Uh, if you ever played the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. I keep expecting to find mort flesh on these guys. <laughs> Nought compares to the thrill of victory. One cannot help but feel indomitable. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. We must not let down our guard. Get down from there. Oh, shit. There's definitely going to be zombies popping out of these boxes, man. No doubt about it. Gold. Is there nothing we can do about this obstacle? What obstacle? I can attack at a moment's notice, Master. Shall I assist? Hold it. Count on me to keep it safe. These fiends are only truly defeated when their skull is smashed the other way. What just happened? I, I, why am I on the ground? God damn it. Why am I still on the ground? What is happening here? Fucking cock, man. Come on. There's like a lot going on in this little bitty room. service to the kind of a little too much going on in this room right now okay I think I know what the problem is enemy spellcasters gotta deal with these fucking spellcasters Hey, did this foe not remind you of a certain someone we've met? What is the matter with you? We are under attack! There we go. 
now that I've got a little more space to move around, we have options. There we go. Son of a bitch. That was intense, man. I knew there was going to be some heavy opposition with all of those, uh, all of those crypts there or sarcophagi or whatever. And then these, uh, there was good loot in here. It's like, yeah, there's definitely going to be some assholes in here. Would y'all get in there and kill that thing, please? Thank you. Oh, hello. Yeah, that was wild. Where is my other helper at? That's another thing. We're missing one. Look, you can see on the mini map, there's an arrow moving around down there. Like, bitch, you could have come in here and helped. Mm -mm -mm. We end up dismissing that one. Oh, let's see. Need to say hello to Randall Smith. Randall, welcome in, man. What's going on? Yeah, this game is quite hectic. At times, it can be like, just then, shit, hectic ain't even the word, man. That was just nuts. Well, they're casting magic at me. That means we've got more enemies. I don't see. I hear, oh, I see. It's going to be these uh, zombies on the ground here. I didn't even see at first that we had zombies. I can't shoot lightning's fangs. <laughs> Break it. Oh, I you're you're actually telling me something. There is a false wall. Really? I didn't see it. Let me run back down all the way down to where we were. Okay, we're inside this crypt here. There's a false wall somewhere? I'll look more carefully. I didn't see it, though. Right there. Nice. Nice. Okay. Coronation. What do we have in here? More loot. That sensation again. Wicked. Thanks, cat. Gotta remember to start looking out for that stuff. That, that's one of the things that I've really been enjoying about this game is it's got that feel of old school video game exploration, you know? Uh looking around, finding hidden walls and stuff like that. Or, you know, like false walls and paths where you can break stuff to move forward. I love it. Oh, Randall, yeah, man. I, I'm i just so excited to play this game. I've been wanting to play it for years. I've been wanting to play the sequel of Dragon's Dogma for years. So I played the original uh, on, like, Xbox 360? And then when the Darker Risen... DLC came out. I got it. I bought it again for uh, PlayStation 4. Okay, and here's a path back up. All right. <laughs> oh, missed a secret false wall in the palace. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, I've got to start looking out for that stuff better. Do a better job of looking out for it. Uh oh, I got to. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. Got more skeletons. Yep. Okay. Ah, a 
here we are. Here's the exit. Well, and you didn't already know it was there. You just spotted it. Nice. Good eye. Fine prize. We must think very carefully before using it. Now, I did find one. Uh, I only found this one because of uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. If not for having played Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I might not have ever found this one. But there was a locked door uh, and no way around. I, I tried climbing up on the roof and going in from the roof. I tried looking for tunnels so I could, you know, come up from the floor. I couldn't find any way in this place, but I just happened to notice there was a window placed exactly opposite of the door. Uh, so if you go around to the back of the building and you shoot an arrow through the window, you could shoot the lock off of the door. Uh, and I, I only thought of that because of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. That was kind of a big thing in Valhalla. You have to do that a lot. Yeah, they really like their secret hidden ter uh, hidden areas and stuff in here. Nice. Yeah, that's cool. I love that kind of stuff, man. That's I love the the actual exploration. If you are exploring, you find stuff. Is a tall ask. Oh, I bet it's like closer to. It's damn near nighttime now. <laughs> we spent nearly all day in that frigging cave. Pray. Allow okay, me to show you the way. let's go back to town. We'll camp again before we head out. But, I mean, that is the gameplay, I'm Luke. Glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. I really need to get a couple of new pawns. These pawns are lower level than me, which means they're not really doing me that much good. Uh, Michael and Kale... And I only got them because I had to. I Didn't we we accidentally killed the other two or something? I don't remember what happened. I think they died in combat and I had to leave them behind or something like that. Oh, no, it was the pawn plague. The the dragon plague affected them. I forgot about that. Hang in there, master. I'm coming to assist. Stickman 4131. What's up, Stickman? How you doing? Oh yeah, we gotta get all the way into town. I thought you weren't supposed to use stamina when you're in town. I guess it's only once you get inside the gate officially. Where's my house again? Gotta be right. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's left at this intersection. I need street signs, man. Turn by turn navigation and shit. These uh, increase the amount of weight that you can carry. Only by a little bit for each one. Mm, still better than nothing. I don't know, where is my main pawn and why is he not with me? I guess they really don't like running. I have no issue falling asleep, even at this time of day. <laughs> So what games are y'all excited about? Any games come out recently that folks are, like, getting hyped up for? Anything y'all are looking forward to? Because I know as much as I'm enjoying this, I probably won't do many more episodes of it. I will, of course, continue playing it on my free time. Uh, and maybe put out some videos for it as well um, <clears throat> as I continue to play just for fun. Uh, is anyone else exhausted? 
or is it just me? Well, Melissa, I am exhausted. I'm actually struggling. Honestly, right now I'm struggling a bit. I, If I weren't having so much damned fun, I would probably shut the stream down and may end up calling it a bit early tonight. Uh, I'm just, I'm actually really sore. Like the job that I do, um, it, it nothing that I do is like back breaking labor or anything, but a lot of it is very physical. Uh, like for example, uh, for those of you that don't know, I, I work in the cannabis industry here in Colorado, which again, in Colorado, uh, cannabis is legal. Uh, so it's legal for me to just work a job in growing cannabis. Uh, and, uh, the main job that I do is like taking care of the plants directly, like hands on with the plants. And, uh, the main thing that I do currently is defoliating. We, we take, you know, the, your classic, like pot leaf looking leaves at a certain point in the plant's growth, it actually doesn't need very many of those anymore. Uh, and you can pluck those off. What we do is we go in by hand and we just pluck the leaves off of the whole plant. Um, but imagine imagine doing doing the Frankenstein's monster thing where you're just like this, you know, uh, with your arms out in front of you. Uh, hold your arms up out in front of you for, I don't know, just 10, 15 seconds, you know, just for a few seconds. And you already start to get tired after just a few seconds. Well, go ahead and do that for another eight hours because you have the rest of your shift to go. You know, uh, so it's not backbreaking labor, but God damn, my shoulders ache just from holding my arm. I mean, just doing that is kind of like making me feel like, oh shit, man. You know, <laughs> so yeah, I, I too am exhausted, but um, I'm yeah, it, it's good though. It's gonna be all right. I'm having fun here. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, Ryan, you were telling me about Tales of Iron. There's a sequel for that one. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima 2. Are they doing a sequel for Tsushima? Holy shit, we're playing that one. Uh, let's see. Manor Lords. Saw a few vids, but it's not for you. Interesting. I'm not familiar with that one. Uh, and let's see. What, there was another. Rise of the Ronin. Yeah. Okay. So, well, Melissa, you know, uh, Claire has been playing Rise of the Ronin on her channel. Uh, you can take a few, a look at a few of those episodes. Uh, it, she is having a blast with it. It does have mixed reviews. My only complaint about Rise of the Ronin from what I've seen so far isn't really a complaint so much as an observation. Uh, I would say it pretty much has like PS3 graphics. Like the graphics are not impressive. Uh, the world looks cool as shit, just like the... The aesthetics, like the visual design of things is is looks really cool. Uh, so I think the the kind of retro graphics was a conscious decision on the part of the developers. I think they did that on, on purpose, uh, probably just to improve performance because I had noticed the game runs flawlessly. It's super fast paced, crazy looking combat. But it's flawless with really few dropped frames. So it's like a trade-off of like, yeah, we went with more retro style graphics, but it's so that the game runs more smoothly. So, I mean, it's it's a trade-off, you know, decide what's important to you. Do you want groundbreaking, astounding graphics or do you want smooth gameplay? Uh, let's see. Ooh, okay, so you're scratching that itch with Ghost of Tsushima. Gotcha. Got your dad to watch part of it this weekend while you played. That's rare for him. And he liked it better than The Last of Us 2, which, less violent? <laughs> I, I, I guess it's a different type of violence, but I really wouldn't consider Ghost of Tsushima less violent. Uh, lots of stabbing and slicing in that game, uh, especially if you do the standoffs and stuff, yeah. Oh, shit, Randall! You had surgery today. Well, I'm glad you have that behind you, uh, and I wish you a swift recovery. Uh, do you want to tell us more about that? Um, you don't have to, of course, obviously, if it's too personal. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I, 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 have, uh, I have a little bit of PTSD from my surgery, from my cancer surgery. You probably can't see it on the camera, but I have a scar that goes from the bottom of my ear all the way down to the center of my neck here. Uh, from my cancer surgery where they had to remove my thyroid. Uh, and dude, I, 
I have I have some pretty bad memories of that. It, it like the surgery went well and the recovery went well and stuff, but it's it, it it wasn't awesome. So yeah, if you want to talk about it, man, we're here for you. If you if you want us to shut up about it and distract you instead, we can do that too. Um, let's see. <laughs> Nylon girl, just glad you're not dead. <laughs> I mean, it's you know, it's okay. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, it is cool that your dad watches you game. That's awesome, man. I mean, that's good. I, I consider that good bonding time, really. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Oh, wait, Nylon Girl. Sorry to hear that, Nylon Girl. What is... Oh, you've been drained all week. Starting to come out of it. Okay, cool. Uh, you're back at work now, aren't you? Uh, Nylon Girl, your, your, uh, uh layoff or whatever is over now? Two hernias. Oh, my God. Two hernias. Oh, my God. Mm. Glad you got that fixed, dog. <laughs> Shit. Oh, wow. Damn it, boy. Okay. Oh, yeah, watching that game made him want to learn more about the Mongols in the time period. Yeah, absolutely. I I, I love the history in uh, Ghost of Tsushima. It's such an interesting period of history as well. Uh, I mean, just fucking feudal Japan with samurai and ninjas and shit. Uh, love it. Okay, maybe we can actually go do this mission now. I'll, I'll try to avoid any other um, griffins and golems and caves and stuff for now. But yeah, this game is really great. I'm having so much fun with I would just play this like a, a lot, a lot. I intend to eventually have hundreds of hours in this one. If I get my way, I will have hundreds of hours in this one. Like, I'm honestly a bit jealous. I see several people have been doing reviews like my 250 hour review of Dragon's Dogma. And I'm like, fuck you. Fuck you. I want 250 hours in this game. <laughs> Yeah, Randall, for real, man. Speedy recovery, brother. <laughs> Short round, hit ninjas and shit. <laughs> Sweet Ellis cookies. I have not played any more The Last of Us 2, but I, I was actually just thinking about that. Here, let me stop stopping. Uh, just like today, I was thinking, all right, well, I'm going to need to play something after this. I'll probably only do a few more episodes of this for the live stream series. Uh, what do I play next? <gasps> I could play some more of The Last of Us 2, which I, is really surprising to me. Because, like, as most of you already know, I, I really didn't enjoy my first playthrough of The Last of Us 2. Uh, but I went in with the wrong mindset, man. And my second playthrough, the one that we did just recently, I had a blast. Had an absolute blast. And then you guys introduced me to no return mode. And like, I, oh my God, I, I had so much fun with no return. That's like, that's the perfect way for me to play The Last of Us 2. Uh, because then you, you don't have to worry about the story at all. You just enjoy the excellent gameplay. Uh, so we, we may actually do some more of that, honestly. Yeah, since uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 came out, I haven't played anything else except days gone for like our friday night live streams indeed it was enough to make one pity our foe what's that uh they probably don't work what doesn't work oh short round you're about to start playing some last of us 2 right now yeah just finished the left behind portion of part one okay this is your second playthrough for that game? Yeah. I, I will say, man, I really, really enjoyed my second playthrough of The Last of Us 2. I enjoyed it so much more than that initial playthrough. It really was an incredible experience. Going, in, going into it with an open mind, ready to just play the game and have some fun. Yeah, that was great. And, oh, sorry. Just shot that uh, pawn down there. Uh, but yeah, going into The Last of Us 2, kind of already knowing what to expect out of the story and knowing what I wanted to get out of the experience. Yeah, I had a great time with it. I'm really, really glad they did the remaster. 
uh, and added the no return mode and everything because that is what got me to take a second look at it. That if they hadn't released that remaster, I probably would have never. Well, if they hadn't released the remaster recently, like just recently, then I wouldn't have done another playthrough of The Last of Us 2. And, you know, maybe, like, let's say they had done a remaster in five years or something. Well, it probably would have been five years before I played it again. So I, I'm like, I think it was too soon for any kind of remaster, but I'm glad they did one. Because it did get me to take a second look at it. I am not going the right way. I'm just walking. Just exploring. Had just said, not five minutes ago, said, Okay, I'm going to quit fucking off and we're actually going to go do this mission. That's what happens in this game, man. It's kind of like Claire is playing uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 right now. And as much fun as she's having in that game, it's still really frustrating because everything takes time. You're like, I just want to go sell this one pelt to this one merchant five hours later. <laughs> we're we're doing something totally different. And I find myself doing the same thing with, with this game a lot. Oh, Kat, I see what you're saying. The folks with those 250-hour playthroughs, they don't have day jobs. Yeah, yeah, you may be right. Like, they're full-time gaming channels, yeah. Uh, oh, shit, Randall, you played The Last of Us 2 four times. Wicked. Green Designs is with us. Green Designs, my actual in-real-life brother. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Thank you for joining us tonight, bud. What are you up to? Ah, uh, hey, we need to say hello to Nitro Border 17. Nitro Border, what's going on, man? Hello, Spawnicus Rex. <laughs> uh, man. Yeah, all right. Let's rock and roll. Oh, shit, Griffin. <laughs> need to get back on the path here. Here we go. Oh, God, I forgot about this shit. There's a... Uh, there's this one spot here where there's two Cyclopses. I, I have not been able to beat them yet. Uh, last time I literally just had to run. Like, all I could do, I just had to run. I have not been able to beat the two of them at once. Should we try it? Let's make a save game. Oh my god. We're gonna tackle... I promise you, I know what's about to happen. We're gonna tangle with these two Cyclopses. Cyclopses? What's the plural of Cyclops? Uh, we're gonna fight these two big dudes with one eye. And I promise you, this fucking griffin is gonna jump in and join the fray. I, I would almost bet money on it. Alright, let's... Yeah, you just run by them. Yeah, I, I, I kinda wanna kill them. Like, I definitely want to kill them. Like, they're not actually that tough individually. I've actually killed quite a few Cyclops. Cyclopses? Cyclopses? Cyclops eye? I, I don't fucking know. <laughs> what is the plural of Cyclops? I'm just dreading this damn Cy uh, Griffin dropping in on us because I keep seeing this Griffin shadow moving overhead. This may actually work coming from this direction. Because the other direction, you're going through that tight pass and there's really nowhere else you can go. I need to let my stamina regen for a second. Oh, goblins and wolves. Yeah, okay. Goblins and wolves, of course. While we're trying to fight a Cyclops. Two Cyclops is... Cyclopses? Somebody fucking look up the plural of Cyclops. This is going to bother me all night. And more goblins. Well, we know the plural of goblins. It's fuck off. It's literally like a little army of goblins, man. Oh, it is time to go. Running. Hey, man, get off of me. There. Oh, hey, here's a... Pretty good position over here. This ought to help a bit, actually, being able to get to some elevation. 
need to get the helmet off of that guy so we can do more damage to his face. All right, get off my rock, little fucker. Here's the mark of a champion to prevail with weapon sheath. Come on. Be still, dude. I'm trying to shoot your helmet off. I see my stamina is getting low again. Cyclops. Cyclopes? Interesting. Okay. O P E S Cyclopes? Huh. Alright. I would have never guessed that shit. Boy, don't you get up here. Did we just get one? I think we just got one of them. No, not yet. Okay, never mind. Got my hopes up. You'll not live to regret this. Still need to get his... Ah, okay, we finally got his helmet off. That will help. Except my fighter's about to die. I see his health really low down there. Where that Griffin's gonna end up jumping us to. I see it coming. There's no better time to strike. Come I'll on. catch up with the chat here in a second, guys. This is pretty intense. Eek. Oh, homeboy just threw his club at me. Headshot. Time to go. Uh, there's still goblins over here fucking with us. Hey, you're on fire. The Cyclopes is on fire. Uh, dude, no, sir. Get away from me. Almost got this guy down. Got him. Nice. Now we're down to only one. And a Griffin. I will protect you. Seems to be the right Stick that neck out for me. Makes for easy prey. Are you leave? Him. Oh yeah, that was right in the face. <laughs> there we go. We're about to ruin this dude's day. Man, my fighter's over there just beating him to death. Yeah! Woo! All right. Oh, that was intense, dude. <laughs> That's like two, three crazy intense fights we've had just in an hour. Phoenix, Phoenix, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining the channel as a member. You are now eligible for the members only co-op gaming sessions uh, that we'll be doing again really soon. I think sometime in March, we're going to be starting those back up. Uh, okay, I will take a moment to catch up with the chat. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Your tennis elbow can barely handle casual gaming. No way. <laughs> Green designs. Hey, sexy, how you doing? <laughs> uh, okay, Cyclopes. That's, that's official. Oh, and Mega Man, Mega Man, the blue lion. Welcome in, Mega Man. Sorry, bud. I didn't see you pop in in all that excitement there. Yeah, uh, Nitro Border, um, the Red Dead Redemption 2, is. it is really a good game. I personally didn't have a great experience with it, but I was really sick at the time and, and not like in a great headspace mentally at the time anyway. Um so I, I will probably end up doing a second playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2 myself uh, and actually, you know, kind of go in with an open mind this time. 
But the thing about Red Dead is like, just like with this game, it's like you set out to do one thing. I just want to go sell an animal pelt to the merchant. Five hours later, you're off doing something totally different, but still having fun. Did I, I may, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Nylon Girl. Good catch. <laughs> may, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I hear Portland is bad about that right now. Yeah, I, I hear it is bad. Now, Claire and I took a Days Gone inspired trip to Oregon um, <clears throat> a little over a year ago, and we had a great time, but we didn't go to any of the big cities. Uh, we didn't go anywhere near Portland. We didn't do anything like that. Our it was it was strictly Days Gone inspired. Uh, so we uh, we only went like up Highway 97 and went around some of like the the uh, some of the horde caves, you know, some of the lava tube caves and stuff like that. But we didn't go into any of the big cities. Bend itself, I think, was the biggest town that we went into, chest. which surprising surprisingly isn't actually that big of a town. There's a whole cult in! Fire won't do much good here. Best try a different attack. Yeah, parking spaces have to be gated off and everything, yeah. I mean, honestly, it's getting pretty bad around here. Colorado, uh, with... I, I hate to say it, but it's true. With cannabis being legal here, we get a lot of fucking losers uh, that come up here uh, just because, Oh, weed is cool. I want to live where weed is cool. <laughs> and... It's kind of not an ideal situation in many ways. Uh, so we have a massive fucking homeless epidemic here as well. I mean, and that, that says nothing about legitimate homeless prop. Like, like what I'm trying to say, I'm, I'm not speaking very eloquently right now because I'm killing hobgoblins at the same time. But, uh, like, the housing market is pretty rough up here. Uh, housing cost is really high. Cost of living is really high. So people who get up here and actually intend to succeed, they still get up here and can't make it because shit's just too fucking expensive. Um, you know, times are hard for everybody. So there's that. But then you also have, like, just a lot of fucking losers wandering around because weed is legal. The roads are hardly safe. We ought to proceed with caution. So I know they have a, a similar problem in Oregon as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the fence is made to keep people out and stuff. Like, aggressively, yeah. So yeah, just be careful, man. You know, just keep your wits about you and... I mean, it, honestly, it's the same everywhere. It really is. Because, I mean, like, Claire just was living in L.A. a few years ago uh, until we moved up here. And, you know, so, I mean, even there is, like, that's fucking L.A., man. Things are tough everywhere, I guess. One of us has been poisoned. But we had a great time on our Days Gone inspired trip. Like I say, we didn't go into any of the bigger towns or anything. Uh, we just stuck to like running up uh, Highway 97, uh, which is, of course, the highway that's featured in Days Gone and uh, the town of Bend, which is where Bend Studio is at, the company that made Days Gone. With lightning on your side. Yeah, it's rough everywhere, man, ain't it? Now, you travel a bit for your job, too, don't you, Mega Man? So I guess you would know, huh? Lots of bandits here. Shoot him in the dick. Yeah, can you shoot that dude, please? Oh, yeah, that's that's even better. Smack him with some lightning for me. Yeah. <laughs> even better. Now get up here and heal me. How might I be a...
There's a ladder here. Hmm. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, man. You pretty much have to have a roommate or rent a room out or something if you live on your own. Pretty much can't make it on your own anymore. Fucking crazy, man. Oh, another golem. Oh, and some lizard men down there, too. Nah, and fucking harpies. See, it, it's rough everywhere, man. <laughs> harpies and golems and shit everywhere. All these damn harpies trying to take our jobs. <laughs> Tank, get your ass away from that golem. Oh my god, boy, I did not tell you to go attack that fucking golem. We're gonna die. <laughs> There's a bunch of lizard men around here, too. I actually, I actually really just want to go do this mission. Like if I do one thing tonight, I want to go finish this finish this quest yeah I hear you nylon girl and honestly my one complaint about my job in the cannabis industry where I work at is they do not want to pay you for shit man especially starting off but like I'm I'm just entry-level laborer in this industry. You know, I didn't have any experience with growing or anything like that, so I couldn't hire in at, like, a higher-paying position or anything. I'm just starting off as entry-level laborer, uh, and it does not pay enough, man. It's, I'm steadily watching my savings dwindle, you know. But it's something I really want to do, and I know that there is potential for uh, better income in the future. Because certain things within the industry actually pay pretty fucking good. You know, once you actually do know uh, a bit more about like being a grower uh, and stuff like that, or even running a facility, which like that's my intent is I would eventually like to be running a grow facility. Um, I'd like to be running a place like where I'm working at right now. But it will take time. And it's a, it's a surprisingly competitive market as well. Uh, it's really a surprisingly competitive market. Like, you have really got to get in there and bust ass if you want to get somebody's attention. And uh, be considered for advancement opportunities. You have really got to get in there and bust ass. Because, like, they weed out the losers pretty quickly. Uh, the... Uh, the ones who just want to work there because oh, weed is cool or whatever. Uh, yeah, they, they run them off pretty quickly. Uh, those kind of folks don't stick around because it's actually hard work. Who knew that farming is hard work? <laughs> Let's see. What time is it? It's heading toward nighttime, but I don't want to camp yet. Are we anywhere near this mission? We are approaching the mission. Hmm. <laughs> Stick man trying to pack for a trip. <laughs> a short round. I complain just to complain. Yeah, but you're a Marine. You you can do that. That's okay. It's allowed. You can grumble. Yeah, Nitro Border. That's the thing. Uh, <clears throat> you know, it doesn't take long for them to identify people that are serious. Uh, and intend to be an asset to the company. It's like, my thing is I just want to learn as much as I can. I want to learn as much about it as I possibly can. Teach me everything. No, I mean everything, you know. Everything from uh, growing, growing to running the facility itself. I'm here for it. It, which it's funny i'm actually not even using cannabis right now i've been on a tolerance break for several weeks uh mostly just because like the place that i started off at was actually sending us home with bags of weed every day every fucking day just about uh just about every day they would send us home with a sack of weed um 
And so I literally just had more than I knew what to do with it. And I was smoking way too much. I was, you know, like everything, this is everything in moderation, right? You know, even like in, in my honest, this is my sincere opinion, my honest opinion, cannabis can be good medicine, uh, good medicine for your body, good medicine for your mind. Um, so it can be good medicine, but anything can be used to excess. Even too much water is a bad thing, you know? Uh, like, I started to think of it as like with my whiskey, you know? Like, I love a glass of whiskey in the evening, but I'm not going to sit here drinking whiskey all fucking day. Uh, so I've, I've kind of been looking at cannabis the same way. It's like, yeah, I love me some cannabis, but I'm not going to sit here smoking all fucking day. You know, I got stuff to do, man. Uh, so I, with that mindset, I just kind of decided to do a tolerance break and, uh, I haven't had anything to smoke in a while. It's like, I come home from work, literally covered in cannabis resin from the plants that I work with, just literally sticky with the shit. Uh, but I'm not actually smoking any. I haven't used any in weeks. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. I'd say we collect as much as we can carry. I shan't let Captain Caffeine! Yeah, smoking up all the profits. <laughs> yeah, which it's interesting. I, I brought that up because I wanted to say, like, the place I'm working at now, they don't do that. It's a much more professional business. Uh, they, they run it like a fucking business. They're not giving away any free merchandise, man. Uh, so it's kind of weird. It's like, in many ways, there's... There's no real benefit to working there. It's just a low paying job. That's hard work. It, that's it. It's like, yeah, it's cool. I work in the cannabis industry, but I'm not getting any free cannabis out of it. Uh, I, we don't even get an employee discount like where they sell it. Cause like, this is just a grow operation. They don't sell it at all. They don't sell it to the public. They sell to, you know, other dispensaries and stuff. Uh, so it's like in many ways there's no advantage there's there's no benefit to working there what the hell is that uh because i'm not getting any free cannabis or anything seriously what is going on what am i, I hope you well i guess they decided to attack some stuff but what kind of critter is that over there oh shit that's like a drake or something that's like a little dragon oh shit it okay now i'm scared Let me get some of that red shit. That's good shit. Yeah. Give me some of that red. Mm-hmm. That's my favorite flavor. Shit. <laughs> now, that red glowy sphere there. I know there's a lot going on on the screen, but this glowing red sphere that's making me glow all red is a... Uh, increases your attack speed. Your movement speed and your attack speed. So, yeah, I don't... I really don't want to tangle with this guy over here. That's... Oh, my God. I just shot him. I didn't mean to do that. Run away. Run. Run for your life. We're running. Bye. <laughs> oh, shit. We're going to die. Oh, please don't. Please don't come over here. I didn't mean it, bro. I really didn't mean it. Like, I heard that your scales were impenetrable, and I just, I, I want, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dog. I didn't mean it. Shit, I'm off track for this quest, too, aren't I? We are going to fucking die. Bye. Goodbye, Mr. Lizard. Uh, you have fun over there roasting shit with your lizard breath. Now, wolves, wolves we can to handle. How to make a <laughs> He's all stuck in the rocks. That's kind of funny. Oh, man, it's a bunch of wolves up here. Okay. You can do than that. Got it. Oof. Wow. <laughs> this game is fucking intense, dude. Oh. Like, I'm getting into some of the more difficult areas, like, like further into the game where it's really difficult enemies, and they're everywhere. Uh. Yeah, Nitro Border, a lot of people just abuse it, and I think that's kind of the heart of the problem.
Yeah, Ryan, you're looking forward to getting to Colorado. Oh, shit, yeah. All cats heading out. All right. Bye, cat. Thank you for being here. Gomer Black Magic is with us. Good evening, sir. Hello and welcome in. Oh, you haven't done anything since 99, but I do like the zummy, the gummies and the zin drops. Yeah, man. Oh, wow. Melissa, your dad just got a raise recently, but he was expecting a cut. That's good news. I do, uh, I do anticipate um, making a little bit met better money soon. Uh, well, I shouldn't say soon. I should not say soon. Uh, but what I actually work for a temp agency. It, it, it's not a temp agency, but that's kind of what they do is they do the hiring and then they send people out to work at different facilities uh, wherever they need help at. If there's a place that needs help doing a harvest, they'll send some people out there. If there's a place that needs help planting, they'll send people out there. Uh, but where they've got me at right now is one of their best accounts because it's like, it's an indoor grow facility. So we, we plant, we harvest and we trim bud constantly. It's constant. It's never ending. Like we don't stop, uh, because, because it's an indoor grow, we can control the light cycle, which means we can control the life cycle of the plant. Uh, so like we don't, we're not bound to a grow season and a harvest season. We do harvest every few weeks, man. Uh, so we stay busy year round, which is fucking great. I love that. Um, but the thing is what I was, where I was going with this is the way this grow facility does their hiring for their permanent employees. They just pull the best people from the temp service. Uh, and, uh, I, I feel like I've got a pretty good chance of like when they are ready to bring in some, bring in some more full-time hands, I'm a pretty high level of confidence. I'll be at least one of the people that they pick, uh, which is a pay raise, uh, because going to work for the facility directly is, uh, is better pay. It's still not great. It's not great, but it's I was better. Wondering when you'd show. Now, are you ready to aid me in sketching that Griffin? Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, if you didn't get, like, a 4% raise, you took a pay cut. Yeah, right. <laughs> Degrity Farms. <laughs> that short round, I'd hire you on the spot, bro. <laughs> yeah, which I think I'm I'm actually about ready to uh, request a raise from the, the company that I am currently employed with. I'm, I'm about ready to ask for a raise there. I've been there long enough, and I know my attendance and my performance is good enough that I could probably get a raise from them. Uh, but still getting hired on full time with the company itself would be uh, Remember, even better. You'll need to draw the fight out as long as you can. I must behold the creature from every angle if I am to coax it lifelike from the stone. Marvelous. Oh, yeah, I bet we're not going to be able. I don't know that we're actually going to be able to do this. Face this griffin. I mean, I can kill a griffin. But the thing is... Uh, you can actually kill a Medusa and take the Gorgon's head and use it to petrify enemies. And I think that's kind of what you're supposed to do here, but I uh, haven't encountered any Gorgons yet. Here, strike with lightning on your side. We are good to die. Oh, actually, this is... Nah, we're gone. Hang on. Uh, this is a problem. Because... What is that noise? Hang on, guys. I'm, one second.
Yeah, okay, yeah, everything's fine. Uh, Claire was running a Dremel tool out there. She's trying to fix something that she bought recently. Didn't It doesn't work quite as she expected it to. Uh, so she was running a Dremel trying to fix it. And uh, I was like, it sounded like somebody was running a saw or something. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. My girl out there playing with power tools, man. All right, so we actually should abandon this quest. In fact, what I'm going to do is just close out of this and load from the last save. Uh, because I do not want to do this quest yet until I can get a Gorgon head and petrify the griffin. Okay, let's see. We should have a fairly recent save. Hopefully not, like, at the start of the encounter. Nice. Bye, Fulvio. Uh, we'll catch up with you later. Oh, I didn't notice there was one of these here. Materials, eh? I shan't deny they have their uses. Cool. All right. Let's go ahead and camp till morning. And we'll try to do a different mission. Find a different quest to do. A well-organized pack is my speciality. I'll see to it your burdens are shared between us pawns. Mm, that's nice. I do like the cooking at the campfires in this game. That is just so cool, man. I've, there's been a couple of them. I think it was the... Not was like some type of dried meat that we had, but it was like a quality item of some sort. And it was like, that shit made me hungry, dude. Like, I was looking at that meat cooking. I was like, damn, dude, I may have to go fire up the grill. Which it's almost that time of year anyway. Oh, I forgot. Claire brought us bought a smoker uh, recently. We've had it down in the basement. She bought it in the middle of winter. <laughs> so we've just had it in the basement. Uh, and I keep forgetting we even have it. We'll have to smoke some meats soon. All right. I do need to find some better pawns. Because these guys are now like five and seven levels behind me. Rest. Let us return once we've grown tired from our legs. Oh yeah, I forgot, man. One of your one of your kiddos had surgery recently, didn't he? <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, too low level. All I'm really looking for is like this symbol here, this blue symbol with a staff in the center of it. Is uh, I know that's a spellcaster and that's what I need, but the level is too low. I would ideally like someone equal to my own level or higher. Ah, this is nice. So this person can cast a healing spell. They cast a major lightning spell. They can put ice on my weapons and they have an ice spell. Yep, you're the one. Uh, definitely taking you. Let's see if we have anybody else. Nope, just that one for this bit. Okay. Let me go find this person because I definitely, definitely want that follower. I don't even care what they look like. Appearances mean nothing to me. Ah, that's the guy. Definitely. And let's see. I'll just lose the lower level one. This guy, he's only level 31. So yeah, you're out of there. Ooh, Nathan, yeah. Oh, he's, that's right. He smokes, yeah. He's a badass with the smoker, isn't he? Forgot about that. At least I go knowing I fought to the best of my ability. Let us work together to honor the original. Okay, got one of them replaced. That was pretty easy, actually. Oh, 
Okay. Level 38, that's not bad. Ah, oh, yeah, actually, I think that's the one we're going to get, actually, because he can do, he'll put, well, no, he doesn't do enough damage. Oh, sorry, guys, moving the mic around. Uh, so he can put fire on my weapons, he can put lightning on my weapons, but he doesn't do any direct damage himself. Same here. This one has two, three good buff spells, healing spell and buff spells, and he can put fire on my weapons. He does not do direct damage spells. And this is my only frustration with this game so far, is that it can be difficult to find the support characters that you need. Your, your main character and your one of your followers you get to set their skills. You have complete control over what skills they have. Uh, but with your other two followers, it's you're kind of at the mercy of uh, just what other people have made, what you can find. And it is frustrating because I'm trying to find someone with the right spells um, and also high enough level. I do like spicy food. I do enjoy spicy food. Not like crazy hot, like stuff where it's like, oh my God, this is so fucking hot. I want to, you know, it's no, dude, not, like I'm not going to be doing any ghost pepper challenges or any kind of bullshit like that anytime soon. Uh, mostly just because I'm an adult and I know better, but you know, I do like spicy foods. I love Cajun food. I think that's a good example would be Cajun food. Cause like Cajun food is known for being pretty damned hot but not like stupid hot, you know? So again, all I'm really looking for is mages that are high level. <laughs> Saruman, one was Gandalf and another one is Saruman, Saruman, uh, which actually he's got some good spells, but he's not high enough level. He's not gonna solve the problem that I have right now that they're too low level. So yeah, this is my only real gripe about this game. I, I, I kind of wish that it were more of like a, uh, say like an old school Baldur's Gate experience where you can fully craft your own party and make them whatever you want them to be, where everybody's skills and stuff is totally customized yourself. New Frosted Flake. <laughs> that would only be acceptable if he did like mostly ice magic. He has one ice spell that, sorry, he's not, yeah, whatever. No. Damn, dude. Uh, I have an idea. I have an idea. I wonder. I wonder if I could use one of my alternate accounts friend myself and use characters from that alt account as my alternate pawns. I'm going to have to experiment with that because if I could control the entire composition of the party completely. Oh, shit. Um, I just, yeah. Um, I may have to experiment with that. <clears> hmm. <throat> Because, like, sitting here scanning through all these guys looking for somebody that does the shit that I need them to do, this one's pretty good. Not what I need, though. You think so, Nylon Girl? You reckon that would work? Because you can, you absolutely can use your friend's pawns. Anybody who plays this game, like, you guys are welcome to use mine. Uh, if we're friends on PlayStation, especially if you're channel members, you can friend me. Uh, so anyone who is actually playing this game, if you want to use this guy Tank uh, as your fighter for your party, you can do that. Uh, absolutely. So you can use your friends' pawns in your party. I might actually be able to set it up where I have full control of all of them. I do like being in control. 
Yeah. Oh, hey, no, that is just not fucking okay. Some people's kids, man. Uh, all right, we're done with this for now. Oh, he used to do that with characters on Red Dead to make them money. Yeah. I mean, I've used that before to, um, like, mule stuff back and forth between characters. Uh, make an alternate account just so you can transfer stuff to... Like, you may have, like, three characters on your main account, uh, like, three different saves, but the only way to move items between them is to make an alternate account and enter a multiplayer game and crazy shit like that. I did that with that game Outward. If y'all are familiar with the uh, action role-playing game called Outward, uh, that one was, it was, it was a lot of fun, but that was the only way you could transfer items between your characters. Prince Pong... Friends pawns are available, but is it random? I'm honestly not sure. Uh, I, If I understand it correctly, if you are using a friend's pawn, you, you have access to their main pawn, of which there's only one uh, for each person. Like, if you wanted to friend me and use my pawn, you would be using Tank, uh, my fighter. Uh, he's my main pawn. Here's Gandalf again. I may take him anyway. So now it's just kind of recycling shit I've already seen. Ooh, this guy has celerity. Too low level, though. His level's too low. And that's the problem I'm trying to solve is that their levels are too damn low. I'm going to go ahead and take this guy just because it's better than nothing and I'm tired of cycling through these. All right, Gandalf. Where you at, dude? Oh, there he is. And he kind of looks like Gandalf. All right, neat. I'll carefully conserve my strength. That's nice. Let's go. <laughs> like, I don't even care now. survive i just want somebody that's high enough level to be useful to me i'll use this chance to commit myself fully that's to the study nice. of the arcade Shall we discuss that's nice now or Let's go. okay all right now we'll see what these guys can do Wait, how much time did that take? Okay, it's still morning. Apparently, time does not pass when you're in the rift. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Let my magic grant you an elemental boon. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. I don't like that dude's voice. Well done. I love that. Love that attack. Let's see, there's another one over here. Let's get the one that's closer. They do not like that fire damage, do they? Sir, could I get you to target the one that my helper is actually fighting, please? Mm -mm. Don't you come over here running at me, boy. I'm gonna kick you in the nads. Since letting the enemy gain the upper hand, the early Griffin. Yeah, the expose that weak spot. Oh, face is all itchy all of a sudden. All right. Oh, that was cool. I'm glad I found a couple of helpers that are actually pretty effective in combat. All right. Well, folks, I think this is a pretty good stopping point. It's a bit earlier than I wanted to shut it down, uh, but Claire is really itching to uh, fix that thing she was on there, running the power tools on. 
So I am going to shut this down so that she can uh, do the thing she's been trying to do. Oh, shit. I need to say hello to Boo Boo, the last Boy Scout. Welcome in. I'm sorry you're popping in right as we're shutting it down for the evening. Uh, and uh, yes, yeah, uh, right as we're shutting it down for the evening. Uh, Claire's got some stuff she's trying to do and it's making a lot of noise. So I'm going to let her do that because uh, she's been itching for days to get that taken care of. Uh, but yeah, I will be back on Friday evening. Uh, I'll be playing some Days Gone. Uh, hope you guys are excited for that. Uh, we'll do some Days Gone 7 p.m. Mountain Time on Friday evening. Uh, and if you want some more Days Gone, well, Claire is going to be playing Days Gone tomorrow morning. Uh, she'll be on at 8 a.m. Mountain Time on her channel. Uh, so yeah, y'all pop in over there. Say hi to Claire while she's playing uh, some Days Gone for you guys. And come back, see me on Friday while I'm playing some Days Gone for you guys. And I I don't know yet how many more episodes we're going to do of this one. Uh, I may continue it into next week and then uh, start something later, uh, start something else later. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided what to play yet. Uh, but anyway, that's I've had a blast. Thank you so much for uh, enjoying this game with me. I, I love this kind of stuff, man. I really do. Uh, oh yeah, Boo Boo, Boo Boo, you'll try to be there on Friday. Nice. Look forward to it. All right, guys. Good night, everybody. We'll see y'all next time.